Christopher? Why are you still hanging around here like some sort of leech? You don't even belong to this family. Huh? What are you talking about, Chloe? I don't quite get you. Oh, boo-hoo. Cry me a river. Why don't you? It's no secret to anyone that you're nothing but a pathetic drug abuser. Honestly, you don't even deserve to be part of our precious family tree. It's absolutely repulsive that I've had to endure your presence all this time. Ah, oh, what a joke! Hey, Chloe, what's with the sudden hostility? You know I've already straightened things out, right? It's been a solid five years since I made a change. Seriously? Do you actually expect me to buy into your loads of BS? You know what they say, right? Once a cokehead, always a cokehead. Like, anyone can truly kick the drug habit, especially a filthy sleazebag like you. You deserve nothing more than rot in some dingy rat hole for the rest of your miserable life. Hey, Chloe, come on, talk to me. What's up? Why are you getting so worked up about something that happened years ago? I have to wonder, do you ever have a single moment of sobriety where you can actually comprehend what other people are trying to say to you? Or is your mind constantly floating in a drug-induced haze? I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I'm done with that drug scene. It's all in the past now, I promise. Yeah, I was a complete idiot for messing with that dangerous stuff back then. And I still carry a ton of guilt and regret when I think about those dark times. But now, I'm completely clean. You've gotta believe me, sis. Trust me on this. Whoa, are you high on drugs right now while texting? Cause it really seems like it. Gonna hand it to you. Drug abusers like you always have a bunch of lame excuses up your sleeve to convince everyone that you're innocent or drug free. But we all know it's just drugs are talking, don't we? Hey, is it true that drug users don't bother taking showers? Oh, how utterly disgusting. You and your friends are just a bunch of filthy beings. Chloe, come on. Please explain what's happening because I'm completely clueless about why you're suddenly lashing out at me like this. Okay, listen up, you drug addict. While you've been busy sneaking around and getting high, your dear sister has been working hard to build a solid future for herself. And guess what? Along the way, I met the love of my life, Andrew. We're already engaged and planning the wedding of our dreams. So, it's pretty clear what I don't want a stinky drug addict like you messing things up on my big day, okay? And what exactly do you mean by that, Chloe? Wow! Why do you have to be so incredibly stupid all the time? Is it because your brain is fried from all those disgusting substances that you can't even understand basic human language anymore? Seriously, you should quit that crap before you completely fry whatever brain cells you have left and can even function properly. Look, what I'm trying to say is this. Stay the hell away from me and our family. I don't want my fiancé to know that I have any connection to a drug addict. Got it? Are you suggesting that I should pack up and move out of the house or something? Okay, listen up. It's time for you to get the hell out of my house, alright? Nobody wants you here. Not even mom and dad. They've seen you as nothing but a burden for as long as I can remember. Your drug addiction has been a major letdown for them. Having you as a part of her family just brings everyone down. We don't tolerate scumbags with a drug history in our family. Got it? And who knows what you do to your own flesh and blood when you're high? Oh, alright. I see where you're coming from. So, when exactly do you want me to pack up and leave our house? Dude, figure it out yourself. Seriously. Why is it always up to me to spell things out for you like that? Obviously, I want you to gather up your worthless junk and get the hell out of my house as fast as humanly possible. And when I say fast, I mean right freaking now what right now can you at least cut me some slack and give me a little time to find a new place to stay oh you honestly think that's even necessary i mean what kind of belongings do you have besides a bunch of bags filled with weed and cocaine and let's be real here considering your lovely track record of drug abuse no sane person would even think of renting you a place so you better start getting cozy with park benches or maybe find a nice spot on the sewer gate. 
Yeah, those places suit you just perfectly. But let me throw this question at you, Chloe. Did you even bother to check with mom if she's okay with me moving out? Of course. She's more than happy to kick out a useless parasite like you who does nothing but drain her money. You truly have no shame, Christopher. I can't believe you've been sponging off our mother's hard-earned cash just to feed your drug habit. Do enlighten me. How did you go about extorting her money? Did you resort to her breaking her kneecaps or drowning her in a sink? What a repulsive monster you've become. If you're convinced that I've been using mom for money, then I suppose you also expect her to foot the bill for everything, including your wedding expenses, right? Naturally, mom's gonna have to cover all the expenses. I'm her golden child, you know, and she'll do anything to keep me satisfied. Guess how much her beloved mom is splurging on my wedding? A whopping $200,000! Can you even wrap your mind around that? I bet an eternal freeloader like you could never even fathom having such an outrageous sum of money, huh? What, $200,000? Where the heck did she manage to scrape up that kind of cash from? Honestly, I highly doubt mom has that kind of money just lying around. But hey, who am I to judge? That's right! You better hurry up and get your sorry excuse for an ass out of my house ASAP. Let's face it, you bring absolutely zero value to this place. Alright, fine. I guess I'll pack up and move out of the house today then. No point in sticking around in a place where I'm considered worthless, right? That's the spirit. I must say, I'm quite impressed that even a drug-aged mind like yours could grasp the situation so quickly. Well done, you filthy pig. Should I toss you some pig feet as a reward? I mean, you better stuff your face while you can because once you're living in the streets with the rest of your filthy drug addicts like yourself, you won't have anything to eat. Enjoy your future, loser. Well, well, look who's got some sass, Chloe. But you know what? I'd rather be labeled a dopehead or whatever insult you hurl my way than live my life as someone who with maybe two functioning brain cells who somehow believes they're the center of the entire freaking universe. Bravo, Einstein. Oh, and here's a little tidbit for you. You're not invited to my wedding either. I mean, seriously? What would a drug-addicted mess like you even do at my special day, huh? I can already picture you sneaking in, trying to peddle your precious cocaine to make a quick buck, right? Or maybe you'll just be too busy getting high on those toxic substances, turning my wedding into a complete disaster. I know you, damn crackhead, always ready to destroy and ruin everything in your path. You're like a devil, constantly feasting on drugs like your pathetic life depends on it. How utterly pitiful. Alright, if that's how you see it, then I guess I have no reason to grace your wedding with my presence. It's your big day after all, and you have the final say on who gets invited and who doesn't. Oh, absolutely. I'm thrilled that you've suddenly come to terms with your pitiful existence as a drug abuser. Farewell, you mindless zombie. If I ever happen to spot you dragging your sorry self around the streets, begging for money, you can bet your bottom dollar I'll report your sorry ass to the police and have them throw in you in jail. Trust me, I'm just doing society a favor by taking out the trash. Ha 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 ha. Hey Christopher, are you heading out somewhere? Have you got wind of the news from Chloe yet? What do you mean? Are you talking about the news that she's getting married? Yeah, exactly. So you're already in the loop about it too, huh? Chloe actually filled me in on it not too long ago, so yeah, I'm already aware. What's up, Mom? Is something the matter? Do you have some sort of mental deficiency or what? Your own sister is about to get married and it's one of the most significant moments in her life. And here you are, having the nerve to pick this exact moment to pack your bags and escape. What kind of family member are you, really? I see right through your pathetic ploy. You're just running away like a coward, trying to shirk your responsibilities as a brother. Shame on you, Christopher. Shame on you! Mom, you've got it all wrong. It was Chloe herself who insisted that I leave our home. She expressed her hatred towards me and made it clear that she doesn't see me as a valuable member of our family. In fact, she even explicitly told me that she doesn't want me to be present at her wedding. That's enough with your pathetic lies. 
You're not calling the shots here, do you understand? I forbid you from going anywhere. It's your responsibility to handle all the expenses for your sister's wedding, just like you have with all the other expenditures around this house. And what about the household bills? If you walk out on us now, who's gonna handle those expenses? What? So you're telling me that the only reason you want me to stay is because you expect me to handle those expenses, and not because of any genuine feelings of love or the bond between a mother and son, for instance. Ugh, what the hell are you blabbering about, Christopher? I only have love for your sister. She's the only one worth considering as my child. Aren't you just ashamed of yourself? You're nothing but a pathetic loser and a drug addict. Do you honestly believe you deserve my love? Let me tell you something. My love isn't free. It needs to be earned, and I'm not stupid enough to waste it on someone who's utterly unworthy of receiving it. What? Are we really going down the drug addict road again? I've already explained to you. I've turned my life around, and I'm no longer involved with drugs. I used them during a rough patch in my life when everything seemed to be falling apart. Business failure, a breakup, and losing dad. It felt like the world was against me. I had zero motivation to keep going. Yes, I admit I've made some stupid choices, but it's been five years now, and I can confidently say that drugs are no longer an issue for me. Oh, please. Spare me the sob story of a crackhead's lies and deceit. You should count yourself lucky that I allowed you to stay in my house all these years, even after your pathetic business venture tanked and you became so broke that you couldn't even afford a damn meal. Any other mother would have kicked your sorry ass to the curb like a dead rat. But not me, because I'm so generous and kind-hearted. You owe me your entire existence, Christopher. Without me, you'd probably be six feet under by now. Jeez, Mom. Do you even realize how many times you've nagged me about that over the years? I've been busting my ass for the past five years, you know? I'm the one who's been footing the bill for this entire family. Don't you think that's already enough to pay back the so-called debt I supposedly owe you? What the heck are you blabbering about? You better recognize that I'm the reason you're still breathing, so you owe me big time. And let me tell you, no amount of cash can even come close to repaying that debt. You could slave away for the rest of your pathetic excuse for an existence, handing over every single penny you make, and it still wouldn't scratch the surface of what you owe me. Wow, are you seriously going to ask me to spend my entire life working and making money for you? That's pretty tough, you know. Have you ever taken a moment to consider how unfair you've been treating me? Sometimes I can't help but wonder if I'm truly your son or not. Well, duh. What do you expect? Life's a cold, cruel place, and it's about time you toughened up and got used to it. Got it? So quit your whining and start embracing the harsh realities of existence, okay? If your only expectation of me is to stay in this house and earn more money for you to splurge on, then I have to be honest, I'm not interested in that at all. Goodbye, Mom. I think it's time for me to move on. This might be the last time we have a conversation. Take care. What? How dare you have the audacity to abandon me and your sister like that? Don't forget, you owe me your entire existence. What an ungrateful brat you turned out to be. Get your sorry ass back here this instant. Fine, fine, you want to move out? Well, go ahead and get the heck out of my house. But let me make one thing crystal clear. Your responsibilities as my child are far from over. You better believe you'll be sending me money every single month without slacking off. I don't accept no as an answer. Got it? Christopher, what the hell do you think you're doing crashing my wedding? Huh? Get out of here immediately. Don't make me say it again. Do you have any shame? Who do you think you are to parade around the restaurant where my wedding is taking place like you own the damn joint? Wait a minute. Have you been spying on me this whole time? Are you trying to kidnap me and extort money from me? Or maybe you're just here to munch on people's brains like the zombie you truly are. Get lost, you creepy freak. Don't you dare make me call the police on your sorry ass. What's your deal, Chloe? I actually work here, so why would I need to go anywhere else? What? You work here? At this prestigious, top-rated luxury restaurant? <laughs> That's a good one. Do you really think I'm dumb enough to believe that load of crap? Let's be real. 
You're just a pathetic loser. No sane person in the right mind would ever hire someone as worthless as you. Hold on a second. I've got it all figured out now. You're probably skulking around this place, scavenging for scraps of food that the guests left behind, aren't you? Ew! You're like a stray mutt, waiting for scraps of pity from others. It must have been a real struggle surviving on the streets all by your lonesome. Pathetic. Are you done blabbering, Chloe? Because I need to get back to work. You're not the only customer in this place, you know. What's that supposed to mean? Do you actually think it makes any difference to you whether there's one guest or a hundred in this restaurant? You're nothing but a homeless dog, scavenging the scraps from the guest because you don't even have a place to call home. How utterly pathetic you are! <sighs> Whatever, Chloe. I need to get back to work. There are important guests waiting for me. What? Now you have the audacity to ignore me? You swine? Guess what? I'm gonna call the cops on you. Bet you're hiding drugs somewhere in those rags you call clothes, huh? No worries. I'll just call the cops and report another case of drug use. I'll make sure you land in jail, just like I did last time. <laughs> Christopher, are you even alive? How dare you disregard your majesty like that? Answer me right freaking now! Oh, look at that. I heard the police have finally shown up, huh? Don't you worry. They'll be paying you a little visit and slapping those handcuffs on you soon enough. <laughs> you know what? I made sure to inform them that you're sneaking drugs into this fancy restaurant and puffing away like there's no tomorrow. No need to fret, Big Bro. The cops are on their way to escort you back to the cozy confines of a jail cell where you truly belong. You can't outrun justice, Christopher. Sooner or later, you'll be locked up behind bars like the true criminal you are. Actually, Chloe, it's you who should be concerned about getting locked up, not me. So you better hurry up and wrap up that wedding of yours. <laughs> oh, look at still running their mouth with empty threats. You think it's me who need to worry about getting locked up in prison? What the hell are you even talking about? Are you high or something? How utterly pathetic you are. Well, I've already had a conversation with the police regarding your false accusations against me. And trust me when I say that I'll be taking legal action against you for defamation. So get ready to open your wallet wide and fork over a hefty sum of money as compensation. Because there's no way in hell I'm gonna let you get away with this. What? But you're a crackhead. You must be hiding drugs somewhere. I must admit, I'm a bit concerned for you. I mean... I don't know if you have enough cash to cover the compensation, especially considering the fact that you've already burned through roughly $250,000 for your extravagant wedding expenses. That's no small amount, my dear little sister. What? Who on earth informed you about that? How do you know about the exact cost of my wedding expenses? Have you even been spying on me? You creep! Tell me, now! You've got yourself quite the extravagant wedding bill, huh? Gourmet dishes, private life band, expensive wedding cake, and more. It all adds up, doesn't it? Well, let me set the record straight once and for all. Guess what? I happen to be the proud owner of this very restaurant that mom booked for your wedding. Surprise, surprise. Oh, look who's here. The great detective has arrived, folks. So, let me get this straight. Christopher, the little snowbird, you claim to be the owner of this restaurant? Ha! Huh, that's rich. I must command you and your vivid imagination. But let's cut the crap, shall we? We all know you're nothing more than a pathetic liar. A cokehead like you owning a luxury restaurant? Give me a break. Let's face the truth, shall we? You're just a lowlife? A homeless drug addict who resorts to lying, stealing, and begging to satisfy your pathetic cravings. It's losers like you that make this society a toxic environment to live in. So, spare us your delusions and get back to your dark corner where you belong. Sure thing, Chloe. Believe what you want. But the fact remains that I am indeed the owner of this restaurant. That's why I have all the inside information about how much mom has spent on your wedding. And I must admit, I'm quite impressed by our mom's ability to come up with that much money for your wedding. Oh wow, Captain Obvious. Of course, mom would go to great lengths to make my dream wedding come true. 
But let's address the elephant in the room, shall we? It's beyond laughable to think that you, the eternal loser who survives on drugs, somehow managed to become the owner of a restaurant. Seriously, how did you pull off the magic trick? Do you take out the previous owner and steal their identity? You know what? I've told you countless times already that I've left my drug days behind. It's been five whole years since I made that commitment. Instead, I've been pouring my heart and soul into building this restaurant from the ground up. I've learned from my past business failures and taken each step carefully. It may have started small, but I was already a pretty well-known chef before, so my skills helped the restaurant gain attention and popularity. Now it's one of the most sought-after wedding venues in the entire city. Wait, what? Seriously? I had no clue you were doing so well. Why on earth didn't you mention any of this before? You kept this mind-blowing secret from me all these years. If I had known about your success, I wouldn't have asked you to move out in the first place. I feel like a total idiot now. My bad. But hey, it's never too late, right? We're still siblings, and you're more than welcome to come back home. Let's patch things up and be that big, happy family we used to be. What do you say? Oh, look who's surprised. Can't believe you're finally acknowledging my success, huh? Well, guess what? You're right. I didn't bother sharing this shocking truth with you all these years. Why? Because frankly, it's none of your damn business. I didn't owe you any explanations then, and I sure as hell don't owe you any now. And now you have the audacity to invite me back to your oh-so-loving family? Spare me the sentimental crap. It's too late for that. I've moved on, built my own life, and I'm not about to give it all up just to be part of your big happy family fantasy. So you can keep your empty invitation and enjoy your delusions alone. Hey Christopher, it's mom, Matilda. I've been doing some serious thinking and it hit me that I want to give us another shot at making things right. How about you come back home and live with me and your sister? We can start fresh and make everything all right. I get it. You haven't exactly been the perfect son or brother. But hey, let's forget about the past and move on. It's time for a clean slate, my dear. What now, mom? I've already told you I have no intentions of coming back to that house ever again. So could you please cut the crap with that? What are you talking about? Look, I'm not even asking you to apologize to me or your sister. Seriously, no need for that drama. All I'm saying is, just pack your bags and move back in with us. And boom! Problem solved. Simple as that. Mom, can we cut the nonsense and get straight to the point? Just tell me what you want from me. No need for all this beating around the bush. You know I prefer things straightforward, right? Sweetheart, don't make it sound like I'm always up to some sneaky scheme, okay? You're painting me as the bad guy here and that's not fair. Anyway, let's get straight to the point. I know you're the owner of the restaurant where your sister's wedding happened, right? Since we're family and all, could you do your dear old mama solid and not charge me a dime for the wedding? <laughs> it would mean a lot. Oh, and if you could also pay me back the deposit money I gave you for the wedding, that would be super nice. Let's keep it all in the family, right? <laughs> Hold on, mom. It's not as simple as you make it out to be. I'm running a business here not a charity. You still owe me the money for Chloe's wedding expenses, remember? So it's only fair that you pay me back. If you choose not to do so, I'll have no other option but to involve the police in this matter. Whoa, hold up. Calling the police on dear old Ma? Seriously? That's a bit extreme, don't you think? I mean, think about it. All the time and money I've invested in raising you, just for you to turn around and bite the hand that feeds you. What a waste, right? Let's find a way to sort this out without getting the law involved, okay? Look, Matilda, I don't owe you anything, okay? If you thought raising me was such a burden, why didn't you just drop me off at the hospital or put me up for adoption? Honestly, my life would have turned out a whole lot better if you actually went through with those options. <sighs> alright, alright, I don't have time to go back and forth with you, Christopher. Can you just lend a hand to your dear old mom? Trust me, I'm in some serious trouble here. I'm not even joking. This is for real. Oh, really? Care to enlighten me on why exactly you're in such a tight spot? I'm curious to know what's got you all worked up. Well, here's the deal. I'm broke, okay? The money I used to pay for the wedding deposit, 
I borrowed it from some loan sharks. I'm in a pretty sticky situation right now, to be honest. What? Loan sharks? Are you out of your mind? Bummer. But it's the real deal, you know. Those guys play dirty. They slap on crazy high interest rates, and every day that goes by, the amount just keeps piling up. Christopher, I really need your help here. Honestly, I can't cough up the cash to pay these criminals back, but they've been hounding me for days now. They've been throwing threats my way, even getting physical. If I don't scrape up some cash real quick, I'm seriously worried they might take me out. Sorry to break it to you, but this whole mess is kind of your doing. So it's up to you to clean it up. By the way, just so you know, I'm totally taking Chloe to court for spreading lies about me and expecting her to fork some serious cash as compensation. Anyways, good luck handling all of that. I'm putting my trust in you, champ. My mom was really terrified of those loan sharks, so she had to flee from her current home and go far away. The house ended up completely empty because she had to sell everything just to pay those loan sharks back. As for Chloe, her fiancé, or should I say ex-fiancé, left her right before the wedding ended. Not only that, she got herself thrown in jail for defamation and had to cough up a big chunk of money as compensation. But since she couldn't pay me back, her time behind bars got even longer. Once Chloe got out of jail, things got even worse for her. The loan sharks started hunting her down, and now she's living in constant fear. She's forced to work multiple jobs just to repay the loans she took out for her wedding. As for me, I'm living a happy life now. I don't have to deal with my mom constantly asking me for money or my sister looking down on my troubled past. Even though my own family betrayed me, I find comfort in the fact that I have friends and co-workers who understand and accept me for who I am. I'm living each day to the fullest, cherishing the time I spend with the people I love.